All right, now Samsung has started rolling out new updates for a couple of good luck modules. In today's video, let's take a look at them. Let me go to the Galaxy store here. Let's go to update section. As you can see, we have got two modules here, home up module as well as clock face. Both have got new updates. Now let's go to home up first. Let's see what is new here. The latest version is 16.0.0.90. If you own a Z Fold device, it supports DIY home function when cover screen mirroring is on. Now I do not have a Fold device with me right now, so I would not be able to demo this to you guys, but it clearly says when you have DIY home function active on your home screen, the same will reflect on the cover screen as well when you fold the device. Provided you have turned on the screen mirroring feature, which reflects the same home screen from the larger display on the cover screen. So now DIY home function will work on the cover screen as well. Then we have got this remove show favorite settings menu. This is for the tablets. We will now be able to remove show favorite settings menu on the tablets. I will talk about this in a bit. I will get the tablet and show you uh, what exactly this means. Now let's go ahead and update this. And now let's take a look at the second update. This is interesting. We've got clock face update here. The latest version is 3.3.08.15. And it says version 3.3x, whatever is mentioned here, supports the One UI 7 or higher device. So if your device is still on One UI 6.1, then you will not be able to use this latest clock face module. Now here is the interesting thing, which is 10 new watch presets have been added. Now there were very limited number of watch presets on clock face. I will open it and show you guys that there is minor bug fixes and stability improvements have been made. Now this is a very important update for the clock face module. If you're somebody who use clock face on the lock screen, use any clock faces from this module, then this is gonna be important. Now let's go ahead and update the application and I'm gonna show you the new watch faces Let's go ahead and open this module now. We can open it right from the lock screen itself. Let me just press and hold on the lock screen and unlock the phone. Now here, let me tap on the clock. There we go. Now here, I'll tap on style and scroll all the way towards the right. Now, since I have installed the clock face module, I have got this option here. I can tap on this to enter the clock face directly. Here, we've got three tabs, face, my clock, and studio. Now, under face section, you'll be able to see these brand new faces. As you can see, we've got 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And these were the older clock faces that we had uh, before this update and now we have got 10 new ones. So these were very limited in number, as you can see, we had just a very few of them and nothing was that great. Uh, but you know, now we have got some cool ones. You can see this one here, this looks pretty cool. I can further edit it if I want. I can change the font here and uh, add some elements if I want. I can change the color of these fonts. You can see it's highly customizable and uh, we can set it up once done. So this is something which is new. Now let me go ahead and download this and set it up. Let me discard this first and let me set the same one here. I'll set it up here. Now this is how it looks. As you can see, it's a beautiful clock we have. We can further customize it, I believe. No, we can't change the font from here, but of course we can change the colors here. Now let's take a look at a couple of more new ones here. This one here gives you a retro look. Yep, this also looks pretty cool. Now let's change this. Let's try this one here. And I'll also change the wallpaper for this. Let's set a different plain wallpaper here. Let's see how it looks. Yep, I've just set a black wallpaper. There we go. It looks beautiful, isn't it? It's a very nice uh, clock that we have. Let me just increase the size here. Yep, now let's tap on done. This is how the lock screen looks. It looks more like an always on display. I've got this cool Google widget here. If you want to know how exactly I've set it up on the lock screen, you can follow my previous video. Uh, I recently posted a video about this uh, Google widget, which has got various uh, different features and uh, how you can set it up on the lock screen. All that is discussed in that video. Now on this lock face, for some reason, this is in Korean. <laughs> I, I didn't notice it. I'm just seeing it now. Uh, it's a nice looking watch face, but I wish this was in English. Anyway, so uh, this is the new change. We have got 10 new clock faces, which is pretty cool. Let me know what do you think about this. Now let's check out what has changed on the tablet. Let me bring the tablet here. Okay, now here I've got the tablet and I have got this home screen, which is set using do it yourself home screen feature from good lock from home up module. And now if you look at the home up change log here, it says remove show favorite settings menu. 
Now here we have got the favorites icons. Before the home app update, we could actually disable this favorites. But the problem was, even after disabling it, we could not bring down all these icons towards this area. We cannot fill this area. We could not fill this area with the icons or widgets. Now that was a bummer. Now with this update, I thought they have actually corrected that. They have removed, uh, they have uh, given an option where we could uh, you know, adjust all these icons or set all these icons and widgets towards the bottom in this space and utilize this entire space. But it looks like Samsung has completely removed this option altogether. So what we'll do now is let's go to the home of module. Here it is. Now here, we do not see that option, remove favorites bar here. So that option is completely gone, knocked off, which is bad. I really wish we could, uh, you know, remove this favorite section here and we could utilize the space for uh, widgets and icons uh, like how we do it on the mobile phones. So that's a bummer. We do not have that feature anymore with this all new update. This is something which I want to share with you guys. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.